We have uh, joining us on Skype, S Cincinnati Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman. Um, he's a member of the Strike Force, and I want to thank all the members of the Strike Force uh, very, very much uh, for their hard work. Uh, and let me now introduce uh, Christopher Smitherman, uh, who has worked on this, and uh, someone who I've known for many, many years. Christopher, thank you very, very much for joining us. And there you are. Thank you so much, uh, Governor DeWine, uh, for moving this issue of minority disparities forward um, at the highest levels in the state of Ohio. Um, you know, we all trust your leadership. Um, I want to thank uh, all 41 members of the Strike Force. Um, we've all been working incredibly hard, as you have indicated. Um, what I'd like to share with you is that uh, those recommendations that are being formulated, in my mind, uh, fall into four areas. And I'm going to call this um, MTAC, uh, messaging, testing, accessibility, and collaboration. And so as the task force is looking at these four categories, messaging uh, Governor DeWine under your leadership is reaching the minority community where they are through the media outlets that exist across the state of Ohio and making sure that we are using those leaders in each of those communities to deliver that message, the message about the importance of wearing a mask, which I have here in my hand, uh, the message of washing hands um, and, and keeping the six feet of distance, um, the issues of testing, testing and testing. And so the area here, Governor DeWine, um, under your leadership and the leadership of the task force is talking about making sure that we're testing in those vulnerable areas that have been disproportionately impacted that you've identified um, in this press conference and making sure that we are concentrating that testing there in a fair and equitable way. The other area is accessibility and making sure that through our federally qualified health centers, um, through our um, hospitals, uh, through every avenue that we are making the, the testing and the access to the information accessible uh, to the minority communities that are being disproportionately uh, impacted. And then the last area I would say would be collaboration and collaborating with groups and organizations like the Urban League, the NAACP, with our faith-based groups, organizations, and leaders, um, our African-American fraternities and sororities, all of our, our chambers, whether it's the Latino chambers, the African-American chambers across the state of Ohio, and interfacing with the the institutions, Governor DeWine, that you provided leadership in already um, since you've been serving our great state, the areas of our Ohio Department of Medicaid, Ohio Department of Job and Family Services, our Ohio Department of Mental Health Addiction Services, the Ohio Latino Affairs Commission, the Ohio Commission on Minority Health. And so out of all of these recommendations, um, former Mayor Michael Coleman has raised the issue, which I know you understand, is making sure that we fund these recommendations and these initiatives. I continually hear the strike force talking about that particular issue. I want to thank uh, Directors Nelson and McElroy and uh, Community Relations Chair Ronald Todd for their leadership uh, on the commission. Um, I want to emphasize to you um, that we do have a very long relationship and that I trust and continue to trust your leadership, um, that I appreciate your appointment of myself uh, to the Minority Health Strike Force, and that I know that you will continue to allow the data, the data that we have to drive us as we open the state of Ohio, prioritizing health 
prioritizing safety and the economy as we target and make sure that the minority communities understand their specific risk. And so I'll close there um, with saying I thank you and I thank Ohio, and Ohio thanks you, uh, Governor DeWine, for your leadership and your team. I want to ask you, so many of us have cared about this work for so long and we know we didn't get here overnight. Um, and I know people sometimes feel that we can't move fast enough. Our will is entirely to do this work. Any advice that you want to give us? We know we can't change 40 and 50 years of things and more overnight. If you are us, given a pandemic, where what advice would you have to heal and move forward in a truly substantial and meaningful way? Matching the, uh, first of all, thank you for your question, Dr. Acton. Um, Oftentimes, when commissions and strike forces are put together, um, the financial piece doesn't come behind it. And I understand and I know that this governor, when we roll out those comprehensive recommendations, that financially, whatever those recommendations are, that the financial support will be there to execute those recommendations. So unfunded mandates oftentimes come from task forces. And I know under Governor Mike DeWine, that won't be the case. And then I also will say, Dr. Atkin, that testing, testing, testing in an equitable and fair way is a consistent message from the task force. And also as the vaccination rolls out, that that vaccination messaging, so we talked about the message of messaging, uh, testing, accessibility, and collaboration, that when the vaccination comes out, that that number one thing is making sure that the messaging is tight and that African Americans and Latinos are being specifically educated about the importance of getting that vaccination and that the accessibility, meaning at our federally qualified health centers, at our hospitals, at our schools, in all non-traditional ways, in our churches, that the medical staffs are going directly out and working directly with the leaders in those communities to deliver those services of testing and vaccination. 